Hey, it's Kim, and I'm excited to be sharing something new here with you today. It's called How in the Hell Did I Get Here? Shorts. And it's just what it sounds like, short one-story episodes pulled from the archives of How in the Hell Did I Get Here? How in the Hell Did I Get Here? airs every Thursday with new episodes from myself, my funny sisters, and our assorted guests. And this short show comes out on Fridays and features a special How in the Hell Did I Get Here? story that we've chosen especially for you from our past episodes. This is Kim A. Floden, and you're listening to How in the Hell Did I Get Here? shorts. And this podcast most definitely does include swear words. I have a couple stories about when I used to work at Bridgman's. My sister talked about it in the um, Deputy Bill episode. My sister and I both worked at Bridgman's. Well, they were like one of those crazy ice cream places where like they had like all the flavors of ice cream. And, you know, like we had the Lollapalooza and it was eight scoops of ice cream. And like, I think you got like an award or something if you could finish it and not have like a heart attack or go into a diabetic coma. That sounds awesome. So I have some stories of working there because yeah, my, I had, I worked with one of my friends there, and we did and we did some like funny things. So the time that she stole ice cream, <laughs> and I thought this girl was like the most goody goody two shoe girl in the world, and all of a sudden she like loses her shit and steals like two quarts of peppermint bonbon, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I remember just getting she had her this old like ford truck like like this 1950s or it was her grandpa's that we get in the truck and i looked on she's got ice cream and i'm like i'm like where'd you get that ice cream because i was the cashier usually and i'm like i would have had to ring her out and i'm like i did not ring you out and she they she was mad because they made her stay late and clean the cone case we would like they would make us stay there till like one in the morning sometimes cleaning it and we had to get up that's crazy yeah, and we had to get up and go to school the next morning, and our we started at seven ten, so we had to get up early. So she was pissed, and she was like, she was like muttering under her breath, like "fuck them and their cone case." They could just take their cone case and shove it. <laughs> she was going on, and she's like, and I was like, "oh my god!" She's like, "I took the ice cream." She's like, "fuck them and their cone case," and I'm like, oh, "okay." So yeah, <laughs> it was hilarious. And, oh my god, and yeah, and my sister, she doesn't remember this, but. She used to do things like there were like two U-shaped, you know, stations. So like the waitress was in the middle and there were like seven booths around it or whatever. And there were two of those next to each other. So I was in one one night and she had the other section right next to me. And I hear her over there like taking orders in like a like a Scottish accent or something. <laughs> And I'm like, what? <laughs> and then I'm losing it, you know, over on my side because I'm like, oh my God, she's not Scottish. <laughs> yeah. And then another time she got all pissed off in the, she was working in the back in the, in the big dining room. They had like, you know, the big tables for her big parties and like a party at 12 came in, came in or something. And mm-hmm. she um, was handing out the menu and like they were passing it down, you know? Well, and she kept handing it to this one guy and he never would hold on to it. He kept passing it and, Finally, it's like, she's like, just take, she was like, can you please take your menu? And he's like, I'm blind. <laughs> she's getting all mad at him. And she was like, oh. <laughs> I've got a great story. Really, it, this place was in a mall and it was, it was like the only mall in Rochester, Minnesota, Apache Mall. And it would get super freaking busy in the winter months, like around mm-hmm. Christmas time. People would come in buses from the little towns around there to shop and do stuff. And then they'd all go to Bridgman's to have their Aww. lunch or whatever. Well, I was, yeah, it was cool. And it was just like a, you know, there wasn't any booze or anything. It was like an ice cream parlor kind of place with food. And the food was pretty good. And so I was working the the big dining room one of those afternoons where it was so crowded in there and it was like freezing cold outside. So everyone had their big coats and, you know, Minnesota winter. Yeah. Minnesota's cold. Yeah. They were just all bundled up. And this lady had a light powder blue. God. She had a light powder blue parka with white fur around the Mm -hmm. hood. She had it over her, over the chair, right? So I was moving so fast because there were so many orders. So I went and picked up an order and two funny things happened. It was a kid's order and it was a hot dog. And I grabbed it so fast. I was grabbing it as the cook was putting the it in the bun. So I 
arrived at the table with an empty bun. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and then I, when I turned to go back, I was moving so fast. One of the ketchups that we use those little like, oh, you no. know, the little things of ketchup. Yeah. yeah. Like we had to pump our own ketchup. Yeah. Flew off and went into that lady's hood. Oh, no. Yeah. Pale blue, white fur. And I think I knew it happened. I think I knew it happened. And I was like, oh, but I had to go back and get the hot dog. And I was like, oh, my God. And so I came back and I'm like, uh, and some other lady gestures me to come over. And I'm like, "Uh uh-huh. And she's like, did you know that you dropped a ketchup in that lady's lady's hood? And I'm like, yes, yes, I did. I I knew that. (laughs) But I never said a word. (laughs) So... Lady um, from, I don't know, this would have been like the 80s sometime. I'm really sorry. I'm going to apologize right now. That really was not very good form of me because, oh my God, she probably got outside, put that hood on. Oh, <laughs> the ketchup was in there. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, not a- Am I breathing? <laughs> right. It would have been like, what the hell? And it probably would have frozen instantly because it was like seriously one of those really cold that's days. That's like horrible. Like that's like the one time we went out to dinner and we had like this fiasco of like everybody kept knocking over their drinks and like everybody's coated in like sticky soda. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you know, we're all like, you know, big buffoons in our jackets. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can't, like, not do anything without... Well, you're, like, twice your normal size in the winter in those states because it's, like, you have to layer up, man. I mean, I used to look like the kid from, like, freaking Christmas story going to work. I know, right? And you you can't, like, move. And, you, and when you're already blissfully unaware of, like, where your body parts are... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, and that happens to me too. <laughs> Thanks for listening, and we hope you enjoyed this How in the Hell Did I Get Here short. And if you can do us a huge favor and leave us a review on Apple iTunes, that would be awesome. It seems like a small thing, but it really helps independent podcasts like ours get found by other people. So if you have a minute and you can do that, it would be great. You can find the link to Apple iTunes at howinthehellpodcast.com right there on our homepage. Also, we love and appreciate any financial support you can offer us. We love showing up here for you twice a week, and we want to be able to keep doing that. So if you can, please consider supporting the show at buymeacoffee.com forward slash the coloring book coach. Speaking of the coloring book coach, find a free coloring book and more fun freebies at the coloringbookcoach.com. Our music is produced by Silent Partner and the song name is Seventh Floor Tango. We found them on YouTube's creator library and you can find their links in our show notes. How in the Hell Did I Get Here Shorts is a production of The Coloring Book Coach and is written, produced, and hosted by Kim A. Floden with editing direction from Carrie Floden. Thanks for listening.